Robotic surgery is really a minimally invasive way to do almost any type of surgery that would normally be done in the abdomen or sometimes even in the chest cavity. Uh, as a urologist, we're able to remove parts of the kidney, sometimes the whole kidney. We can take out a bladder, a prostate. Um, there's lots of different applications, both in urology as well as general surgery and gynecology. Robotic surgery has been around for almost 15 years now and increasingly it's the mainstream. The thing that has changed most in, in who the candidate really is, almost anybody's a candidate for robotic surgery anymore. We used to limit folks based on previous surgery or potentially by size. Anymore, uh, depending on the experience of the surgeon, we can, we can do robotic surgery on just about anybody. From a patient perspective, the advantage of robotic surgery is the fact that your recovery is much quicker. Um, you're out of the hospital in a, in a much shorter time frame. Your pain is less afterwards, less narcotic pain medication equals quicker return to normal daily life. People really appreciate that. From a surgeon perspective, um, we appreciate the advantage of better visualization. That HD camera magnifies things. The detail that, that you're really able to see and the precision of the instruments allows you to do very technical and delicate things through really small incisions. A really good example of the recovery is kidney surgery. Um, in an open nephrectomy or open removal of the kidney, that often involves a 8 to 12 inch incision along your flank or along your side, which cuts through a lot of muscle. Often that's a four to five day hospital stay at a minimum just from a pain control perspective. Now, depending on what we're doing, it's pretty common to send people home the day after surgery, uh, sometimes two days in the hospital, and that's a big difference. Unity Point's always been very early to adopt technology and the robot I think is a great example of that. Um, since it first came out, um, Unity Point has really done a nice job of making sure that they maintain robotic skills, that they look to the future in terms of investing in technology, but they also invest in the support staff and the training to make sure that things are done safely and efficiently. They're really on the forefront of managing the, the changing landscape of robotics.